hello so today in this video i will discuss about php arrays as you know like any other programming language uh, what is the meaning of the array array is collection of the homogeneous types of the data otherwise the, you can say in the similar type of the data same way here also the php in the php also array we can say uh, this is the collect say number of related elements together in a single variable and it allowed to set the any kind of the iterations also and it allow access of any elements but one extra thing is few two extra things are there in the php php implements an array as a dynamic structures so in that way you can add to the array and remove from the array so these two are the new extra things is available in the php because this is a supporting as a dynamic structure in php if you are talking about the php array it is like actually the ordered map what is the meaning of the order map which associate each value of the array with a key that is called again the meaning of the ordered map you take example here monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday these are the values and each value Again, the indexing key is there. So Monday for one, Tuesday one, Monday for zero, Tuesday one, Wednesday two, Thursday three, and Friday four. And you can give the, again the one variable name of this array that is called the uh, days. So you know again the dollar we can write dollar days is the, again one of the variables. In there again the values are the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and along with this one associative again the keys values are zero, one, two, three, four. So in this way we can say this is again the ordered map. Array keys generally one again talking about the array keys. So array keys means by the generally as a single element in the array and most of the programming language it is limited to the integers and start it from the zero and go to up to the by one, two, three, four, five. But PHP keys either must be integers or a string both okay and it is again the advantage need not to be sequential in any other programming language that is the integers and that is in the sequential format but in the php you can use the key as a integers or a string or need not be sequential also okay but don't mix the key types like a one inside a double code versus the one no and if you don't if you do not explicitly define them they are zero one and so on Array values, unlike a key, are not restricted to the integers and the string. Just now I told, they can be any object type or primitive supported in the PHP. That is also possible. In PHP, array values, they can be any object type or primitive supported in the PHP. And you can have object of your own types also, so long as the key in the arrays are integers and strings. So when you are talking about the syntax, how to declare the array, so there are the three different ways are there in PHP. So first one is very simple one. Suppose that if you want to declare the empty array, so what you can write dollar days, dollar days, this is the array name equal to array, A double R A Y, array, and then again give the parenthesis opening and the closing packet. So this is the one way to declare the empty array. But if you want to initialize the value inside the array, so there are again the two different ways are there. So take example for the first one, dollar days equal to array a double r r a y, then the parenthesis and inside that one inside the double quote you give the one value. Take example here inside the double quote you can put the mon Monday m o n, then again close the double quote, then comma, then second value same fashion double quote open and double quote close you can put that value then you can go for the show on whatever how many values you have and then again close the parenthesis and put the semicolon so this is the one way to initialize the value inside that 
okay you can see key you can uh, store the value inside the array like this same things if you want you can write in the different way also in slicing of the array that time what we have to do no need to write the array there directly you can use the big bracket okay curly bracket we can use and then inside that one only same inside the double quote you can put the value so you see the last one dollar day is equal to again the no need to write here array then the direct big bracket double quote you can write the value close double quote comma and then again the second value inside the double quote in that fashion only we can use the alternative way to initialize the array whenever you are talking about the declaring the value in the array you can declare the value in the array in the individual also along with the keys so take example dollar day is equal to array that is the empty array and then you can set zero first indexing value key value should be monday m o n so dollar days inside the curly bracket you can put the zero then again equal to you put the value same way you can go for the one then the t u stay okay so this is the one way another way again at the place of the key direct also in the sequence order also we can put the value so dollar days b you just see the now the empty array name is the dollar days b equal to array and here if you want dollar days b we are not giving any here again the key value okay so in that case again equal to mon then again the dollar days b equal to two so this is in the sequential order so what happened first value indexing will be the by default they will set for the zero another value that will be comes for the one when you were talking about the accessing the value with the help of the key then how to access this value very simple way we have to write again the echo command whatever you want so you see here in this example dollar days is the array name and the one so whatever your one indexing value you have that value will be display here clear so sometime what happen you have to use the array key and value together also clear so generally in the php we are also be able to explicit define the key in addition to the value and this allows you to use key other than the classic 0 1 2 and to the define the indexing in the array so see here again the very simple example for this one again dollar day is equal to array then the zero and then again the array how to put the that symbol equal to and the greater than symbol we can put that side then equal to monday comma then again another indexing value that key value one then again the arrow symbol then the value tuesday comma then go for the second key value two then again the same fashion we can go for the n number of the this one so here along with the key you can define the value also this is again the one another way for the defining the array along with the key and value in i told in the beginning of the slides only key here not only the integer sometime if you want q you key you can make as a string so now you see here array name is the forecast now the key is the monday but value is the 40 integer value now the key is the tuesday value is the 47 key is the wed wed then the value is 52 okay so that is also the possible but in that in this way if you want to display the value then we have to write the key one so forecast tues t u e then output will come 40 forecast t h u then the output card out will come will for the again the 40 so TUE means the 47 and THU Thursday means again 40. So whatever the indexing value either in the string format otherwise in the integers format in which way you already initialize the array same way you have to write the key value then you can display the you can give fetch the value from the array. Like this again, come like the any other again the programming language here again, multidimensional array is also supporting in the PHP, but the syntax is very simple, dollar month, I think almost similar to the C programming only, dollar month equal to array, then the parenthesis, again multidimensional are there, so one more array, then you give the value, again array, one more value, again array, one more value, again one more value, one value, and if you want to display the 0 and of this ones so first indexing comes for the 0 and the third one the third one will be the 0 1 2 3 so that will be the Thursday so you see again in 
the very proper way so how the indexing will be there horizontal also 0 1 2 3 4 vertical also 0 1 2 3 4 like that only it is there so take example for the 0 3 so 0 is the first top all the horizontal and the 3 again we can go for the vertical again okay so that will be the first day same way 3 2 so third one again it will come and 2 again for the vertical 2 so Wednesday right so in this way you can access the array but only we have to see vertical and the horizontal indexing value will be the same only so another way again to define this ones even you can write uh, what is called uh, uh, vertical again the integers and horizontal also if you want we can go for the uh, string clear depends how you are defining this ones array here again okay so here you see id title and quantity id title and quantity that is the horizontal again the key value and the vertical is again nothing is there so 0 1 2 so you see if you want to display the two title dollar card that is the added name so here if you want to define the two title so two is again the coming to the horizontal okay so two and title so title is the steady night so that is the output again here what it so nothing like that and always in the multi-dimensional we have to go for the integers only you, if you want you can mix also okay so vertical they will consider for the default only 0 1 2 okay and then horizontal whatever you are giving that value so when, now another thing is important how you can put the iterations uh, through an array means the array means fetching the all of the value one by one okay so you can apply for the while loop you can use the do also do while loop and even you can use the for loop so same way again you first of all we have to check the size of the array with the help of the count okay then you put for the iterations again you go this one's the indexing value of that array we have to pass one by one and increment again we can put the same way while and the do while and even for the for loop also so these three are the very common way for the, all of the programming language to fetch the, all of the elements from the array. One more very very important things are there in the PHP along with the key also you can again fetch the, all of the value. So generally what happened this concept is very very important whenever suppose that in your web page multiple multiples uh, values are in the array take example for you have again the uh, 30 40 students name and all students is again the your name is the array type so that value if you want to store otherwise the fetch so that time indexing means the key value is very very important so you have only one option with the help of the for, for each only you can do it so for this there are the two syntax are there very simple one one is array name as value and then echo value you can display that value only only the value will come another thing key and value both together then the syntax will be the for each array name as key and again the arrow symbol value okay so if you want echo day key also you can display value also you can display and if you want the elements also if you want to display then we have to write forecast forecast that is the array name and then the big black uh, curly bracket and inside that one we can write the key so in that way again you can use the for each one more thing is again important i told in that this is the dynamic structures in the php array so you can add the elements so adding the elements is very simple way only the array name and again give the indexing value by default if you are if you want to give the integer value otherwise a string whatever you have otherwise without that one also we can do and then give the value inside the double quote then value will be adding to the existing array so here the dollar array, there that value will be added okay like that one you can delete the uh, value from the array also so deleting value from the array what we have to do you have to use the unset unset functions so unset will be the deleting the value then again the same way you have to give the indexing value which index value of your that is called the key value of your array you want to delete take example for here first one unset dollar days two so here dollar days is the array name and the two so zero one two so you want to delete the Wednesday okay unset dollar days three so zero one two three that means you want to delete the Thursday clear so in this way you can delete the value 
okay same way you have a options for the array underscore values so array underscore values together again you can put the all of the values combining only so uh, same way I can say again combining method again that means the re-indexing all of the array in the numerical format only if you are using the array underscore values again clear so here 2 and 3 after the deleting again they will rearrange because the second indexing value you don't have third indexing value you don't have so what happened again they will rearrange the indexing value from the starting that is the use of the that is the uh, purpose of the using the array underscore values one more thing is very very important this is again important to, to check the information for the post and the get method also that is called the is set so generally what happened in the is set is set will be the check the value is existing for a key or not with the help of the is sets you can check the value is existing or not not only this is applicable for the array this is applicable for the checking for the super global uh, in the variable that is called a post and get method that i'll discuss in the, my next videos so there again we can apply for the is set so is set function is for what purpose to check the value is existing in a key or not so take example you have a one again the uh, array that is called the odd keys so here again the you have key and plus value so key is the one three and five hello word and symbols are there so you can check so this key is there or not is set odd key zero right so in this one the zero is not there so you here we can echo there is something set for the key zero so then we can check the condition oh this is not there then we have to display the message okay same way you can check any again the key not again the zero is not there that's why you are displaying that message if something is there you can display the message yeah this is there so is set means to check the key value is available in the array or not in the array but in the post and get that is the different things so there are the array that means the array function is the short and the IA short is very very popular so these are the built-in again array methods in php so built-in short function what is happening this is the sort by key or by value this is short the key or by value the array okay so and but uh, same way a short is there a short means the sending order short means the descending order only they can short the value this once again the more array operations are available in the php one is called array keys then the array values array rand mean the random numbers array underscore reverse also array underscore work and in underscore array this is again very very important what happened in the in underscore array suppose that you have an array and you want to check any value is available in that array or not so here inbuilt function is the in underscore array you can check okay same way if you want to shuffle the array then the shuffle function is there with the help of the suffer we can do so in underscore array is a very very important array underscore reverse is again very very important array underscore random is again the very very important array underscore values i told again the re again the arranging the all of the indexings together indexing means the key only so these are the another again the different type of the array operation which is again available in the php so I think in this video you got the idea regarding the PHP array. So next video again I will discuss about the next part as per your syllabus. Thanks for your presence.